What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and it's finally time to rock the yak. If you guys don't know what I mean by that, today I'm going to be doing a review of Han Yacker Beard Company, a company whose name I mispronounced multiple times early on in some of my early videos and also even recently mispronouncing one of the product names. One of Han Yacker's beard oils is called Brown County. I made an Instagram reel for the launch of that product and called it Brown Country. So <laughs> anyways guys, I'm really glad you're here. This is one of my favorite companies that I have encountered during my my beard growth journey. I should have done a review a long time ago for this company. I've had a lot of people reach out to me on Instagram and social media and just say, hey Josh, what companies do you recommend? Which companies should I try out? My wife doesn't like these scents that I've gotten before. What company do you suggest? This is easily one of those companies, Hanyaker Beard Company. Let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna cover from Han Yacker is their beard oil. This is what their bottles look like. They come in green glass bottles. Typical one ounce beard oil here. This scent happens to be called North Country. Uh, North Country is like literally a North Country style scent. It's got like some woodsy vibes to it. It's got some like fig vibes to it, I'm fairly certain. Um, which is really awesome. It hits really close to home for me because I was born in upstate New York and North Country, North Country Woods, Adirondack Mountains, you know, the whole thing, right? Awesome, awesome scent, underrated scent. This is more of a subtle, woodsy, outdoorsy smell, but I love it, it's totally unique. And that's something about the company that I need to mention right here at the start, because I haven't tried a scent from Han Yacker that seems to have been replicated almost anywhere. Every single scent that the owner makes is unique. It's different, it's awesome. I don't have one single scent from Han Yacker that I smelled it and said, I don't like this. So anyways, I'm gonna cover what's in this oil right now and then we're gonna talk about a couple of my favorite scents from the company. I have quite a few here I'm gonna go through. Um, really, I could probably talk about all of them and I might just talk about all of them, so who knows. Right now, the way I record these videos is I just keep talking and then clip it together. So let's see what happens. Okay, in his carrier oil blend, you have jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, argan oil, and castor oil. Then you've got vitamin E, and then he uses a blend of essential and fragrance oils to get the scent profiles that he uses. And guys, I'm saying he because I'm referring to Adam, the owner of Han Yacker. He runs the company with him and his wife, and I think his son helps on occasion. But if you guys have any questions, I know without a doubt that if you add him on Instagram and you send him a message, he will answer you and uh, do the best he can to answer your questions. Also, before I continue with the rest of the view, I wanna go ahead and point out, I don't like to promote and promote and promote companies and tell you guys to buy things and put my discount codes everywhere. I'm doing it in this video, guys. My discount code is BPR15. So just know that I really massively support this company. I really like the owner, but most of all, I like the products. I love the scent profiles. I love the butters. I love the washes. I love the conditioners, everything. Adam has made, I've really enjoyed, and so just know that I do support the company and I do suggest you pick something up. BPR 15, next time you're gonna go pick up a beard oil, let's try and make it Han Yacker. Like I mentioned before, I did a top five series of my favorite scent profiles and my favorite products of 2020, and the favorite scent profile video, I talked about a product called the Humidor. Here is the Humidor. The Humidor is a wonderful, wonderful tobacco style scent. Mostly to me, this is like a nice, dry, spicy tobacco scent. Maybe like some, maybe a tint of vanilla or something in there. Um, maybe almost something nutty, I don't really know. Oh, this is literally a phenomenal scent. If you like tobacco scents, I really suggest you pick up the Humidor if you haven't already. Guys, if you have tried anything from Han Yacker, go ahead and comment down below. I wanna know what your favorite scent from Han Yacker is. I know a lot of my viewers are avid, Han Yacker people. They pick up all the new scents, they pick up all the new releases. So comment down below, let me know what you guys like to rock from the Yak. <laughs> guys, if you didn't know, Rock the Yak is a thing from the company. You can go on the website, you'll see it. Hashtag Rock the Yak, right? Anytime you're wearing a Han Yacker product, you are rocking the Yak. Here's another really great one. This is Witch's Breath. This was a seasonal fall release. So it's not available anymore, I don't believe. You can check the website, I will link it down in the description below. But it's a, uh, uh, it's like a whiskey pumpkin oud if I remember correctly, or something like that, I don't know. It's got like this alcohol, whiskey, sweetness, mixed with like the smallest amount of pumpkin, and then you get that earthy oud in the background. 
Honestly, it's a phenomenal scent. I'm really trying to save the rest of this bottle for next October, uh, just in case he doesn't release it again, because this is probably my favorite fall scent that I've received. <sighs> Amazing scent. All right, let's talk about the Elder real quick. The Elder is a very popular scent in his lineup. A lot of people really like it. I've talked to Adam before and he's told me, listen, the Elder does very well on sales um, and it is a phenomenal scent. I'm gonna go ahead and say it smells a little bit like an incense shop or something like that. Like, you know those sticks that you can burn and it smells, it almost smells like that to me. Emily, every time I wear this scent, she says, you smell like an incense shop and I agree with her. This is a very complex scent and it smells really, really good. I just don't know how to explain it, but that's how I feel about the scent. It smells like an incense shop, but in a really, really good way and in a better way, really. Um, <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. All right, so I've got a special one here called Bareback. So he doesn't do the scent very often. This is his Birchwood Oud scent, and he doesn't like it because he says it's not complex. However, I absolutely love it. And the reason why I know that I like the scent is because he makes it in his beard wash and his beard conditioner. The Birchwood Oud scent is phenomenal. It's so, so good that when he dropped the Bareback oil, I just had to pick it up. It's just something I absolutely love to have. It is a more simple scent than some of his other ones for sure, but you can't beat a nice Birchwood Oud scent and I love it. So um, guys, speaking of the wash, you should definitely pick some up. This wash is phenomenal. This is not like a super stripping wash. You could use this daily and it works really, really well. So it made it in my top washes of 2020. Obviously it's still one of my favorite washes. I'm actually almost out, so I'm gonna have to pick up some more soon. I will go on like a spree of using this stuff for like weeks it's crazy like two or three weeks straight i have all the washes in my shower and i'm like nope i'm going with han yaka if you don't want to pick up an oil or you don't want to pick up a butter or you're not sure what to pick up you cannot go wrong with this beard wash i promise you that taproot was a release for 2020 for him this is such a manly scent now this isn't a manly scent in the sense of like a musky smell or like a cologne style scent no that's not this at all this is like a very woodsy peppery Oud, I believe there's oud in this. I'm not even positive. It's so it's blended so well that I really can't tell. It's a phenomenal scent. I don't know how else to describe it. It's a manly scent. It's it's not like a cologne scent or musky. It's just nature. It's like woodsy, awesome. I don't know. It's it's a really great scent. Make sure you check out Taproot if you're interested in something like that. All right. So the next one I'm going to talk about here is called Body Language. I don't really know how to describe Body Language. It kind of smells like buttery or something. I don't know. I don't know. It smells really good. It has like this, it opens up a little bit more like after you kind of rub it in your hands, get it in beard, it opens up even more than this. This is like a buttery, powdery scent. I think it's supposed to be like a sexy scent, like, you know, body language. Like, I don't know, you would wear this out to dinner or something, but it's not like masculine or anything like that. It's it's more of like a masculine sweet smell, uh, if that makes any sense at all. It's not musky again, it's not cologne style, it's just, I don't know, kind of like buttery, powdery scented. I don't know how to describe this one at all. Um, this one has really grown on me over time. When I first got it, this was the first scent, I was like, I did not expect this, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, but I do like it, and Emily likes it, and uh, yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about Han Yocker's beard butter. So I'm only gonna showcase one of the beard butters. There's no point in going through like every single one of the beard butters, right? They're all the same, they just have different scents. So this is the one that I butchered the name of on Instagram here. This is Brown County, not country. <laughs> Let me see if I can show you guys what this looks like. So here we go, here's the beard butter. You can see it's a thick consistency there. It's soft, it's thick, it's... I don't know, it's everything you want a beard butter to be, in my opinion, for a poured beard butter. Breaks down super, super well, super nice. I actually use his butter as one of my styling butters. For me, it's thick enough, it's heavy enough to kind of weigh down my beard um, and then kind of moisturize and soften my beard after it's been in for a little bit. So anyways guys, the beard butter is phenomenal. Let me go ahead and tell you guys what's in the beard butter so that you guys know and are aware. In this beard butter, we have shea butter, cocoa butter, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, avocado oil, argan oil, castor oil, white beeswax, vitamin E, fragrance, and essential oil blend. I usually don't see a need to use a beard balm if the beard butter is heavy and thick because for me, I like to just get a little bit of hold out of my balm and so if the beard butter can accomplish that, I have no reason to pick up a balm, but if you guys want me to do a review of a balm, let me know and I'll snag one and let you guys know what I think of it. 
Other than that, guys, this is a top company for me easily. If you haven't tried Han Yonker, you need to try it. Go pick up something. Remember, my code is BPR15. I appreciate every single one of you guys for being here. Seriously, I really, really do. If you could hit the like and subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate that as well. And with that being said, I'll see you next time. Just remember, embrace your beard and embrace the beard life. See ya. Hope oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, apricot kernel oil, argan oil. Just kidding, this is a unique blend.